Hi everyone. Um, welcome to Recovery. I'm really, really, really excited about this chat. Uh, so my name is Alain Kapata Shungu. I'm the co-founder of From Door, and uh, at From Door, what we do is simply we provide insight that close deals to top agents and brokers, like the one we're actually talking to today. Um, so in this episode, we're chatting with uh, Julio Orozco. Sorry. And I'm really excited about this conversation. Um, so, Julio, just uh, just get to get to get things started. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks, Alan, for having me here today. Um, you know, obviously, it's a pleasure to help out in every, any way, in every way possible. So, thank you. Absolutely, my pleasure, my pleasure. So, a little bit of background first uh, before we get going uh, with Julio. So, Julio is a really, really successful uh, licensed realtor at Intero Real Estate Services in San Francisco. Uh, which is a really really great city where I used to live there as well. Uh, Julio is one of the one of Intero's top five percent president circle agents. This means that he just knows what he's doing basically, uh, and he's really really passionate about the marketing and selling of homes, uh, especially uh, in in the Bay Area where um, obviously Julio resides. Um, so to get to get us started, Julio, the first thing that I always ask my guests is, uh, can you can you walk us through um, if possible, even describe like your quote unquote typical work day uh, during this pandemic. Like how how you, how you've been holding up pretty much. Yeah. Um, well, uh, my typical day. Um, I try to I try to focus it on on something that I learned actually from our CEO of Home Services of America. So Intero okay. is owned by Home Services of America, uh, which is a Berkshire Hathaway company, right? Absolutely. Um, and he taught me something. I have the privilege to meet with him, um, you know, pretty much whenever he's available and I'm available, we okay. grab a cup of coffee and he teaches awesome. me things. And I ask things. So one of the things that's really been helping me out through this pandemic is, um, and, and if you ask him the same question, you'll probably respond it the same way. <laughs> that's so helpful yeah. is to take your meds. Okay. Wow. Now, you know, when I first heard that, I'm like, take my meds. I mean, are you talking about meds. my vitamins? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I don't, I don't <laughs> exactly. take any other meds besides my vitamins. <laughs> and he starts laughing. He's like, no. He goes, what I mean by take your meds is, is simply this. He goes, and it's going to look different for everybody because everybody Absolutely. has a different background. Absolutely. He goes, but as long as you stick to your meds and take your meds every day, he goes, your day can fluctuate and your day can be per, um, as successful as you want it to be. That's uh, so pretty much the meds are meditate. Yeah. So that's number, that's M for meditate. Okay. Um, you know, if you have a faith, you know, obviously like I'm, I'm a man of faith. So I awesome. you know, spend that's some deep. time with God and, you know, awesome. kind of med meditate, get my day going, get my mind Absolutely. cleared. Um, it doesn't matter what's going on around us. Right. I have to allow Absolutely. myself to, you know, intake something, you know, something positive, something good, something that's going to allow me to be able to be successful in my business. That's so awesome. I meditate, uh, I exercise, okay. um, and then I try to make sure I stay on a diet. <laughs> and uh, and the last is obviously uh, make sure I do actually sleep. Um, okay. So literally, it's meditate, exercise, diet, and sleep. That um, is awesome. That's taking your meds. And okay. when, when you do that, honestly, uh, Alan, it's something that it's not going to, you're not going to see something from one day to another, but yeah. you'll start noticing it by day three, day four, Absolutely. and you start understanding, wait a minute, I do have an opportunity to create something so great, even during this pandemic. Absolutely. I love it. I really loved your, your, your take on that. And especially, um, you, you mentioned that you are a man of faith, uh, which, which I am as well. And, and it, it just, it, it gives you a completely different perspective on what's Correct. happening around you. And, and I just think that it grounds you. Obviously it's not, Absolutely. I'm not saying that everybody should do it, even though I think everybody should do it, but yeah. it's just, it's just, it just ground. It just gives you an incredible level of um, whatever it's happening around you, just as you, as you brilliant to put it, uh, nothing really can shake you as it pertains to what we're going right. through. And, right. uh, but if I can just, if, if I may just for maybe a, a quick follow up question, which is not something that I wanted to ask, but just to know like how, how, um, straight were you as it pertains to following your diet like did you did you have you managed to do it consistently over the last three four months without without failing off the tracks or like how how did you oh, no. 
Yeah, no, I, I definitely <laughs> fell off the tracks on that one. Yeah. Um, okay. But you know, to me, to me, diet, you know, obviously, it's not cutting cold turkey. And, you know, I'm on chicken and broccoli <laughs> for the next, you know, three months. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's primarily just being mindful um, of how much I consume, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm consuming. Um, if I know, you know, I, I I'm trying to stay alert and I'm trying to stay, you know, positive with a lot of, you know, right now. I feel that a lot of people are lacking a lot of self energy. Absolutely. A lot of energy, you know, is produced naturally just by eating well. Right. So as long as I know I'm constantly eating my veggies, you know, <laughs> um, you know, we, we planted our own uh, little garden here at the house. So yesterday we were, we were able to harvest a, uh, our own tomato and man, oh, it was phenomenal, awesome. but that's awesome. you know what I mean? Just little things yeah. like that. that little as long things. As I'm yeah. Mindful of that. Then Absolutely. I know, okay, that's, 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 you know, I'm not going to go out and be eating out, you know, 24 <laughs> seven when I know yeah. it's going to affect me. So, so yeah, just be mindful of it. Obviously um, we all follow diets a little different. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually encouraging because, uh, yeah, it, it happens. <laughs> I, I, I fell off a little bit and then you have to, you have to come back again. It's oh, so hard to just, it, it, it just takes everything you have. And especially yeah. in times like this, you're like, okay, I'm, Anyway, I'm, I'm at home, so you know it's gonna be okay. And then yeah. the, the government says, start saying, "Okay, we are desheltering." You're like, "No, no, wait! I'm not ready. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I've been eating way too much now. I need to go." Exactly. Out exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, so the, the the next thing that I that I wanted to touch on and, and hear thoughts about, um, obviously, you being in such a uh, such a competitive and, and, and vibrant market as San Francisco. Like, I, I was curious to learn, like, how have you been able to uh, just stay on top of your clients' needs and how we've been able to tend to them. How, because obviously you haven't been able to do showings and things of that nature. Like how how did you just stay on top of it all? Well, for us, it's been changing a little bit here and there. Uh, there's okay. different guidelines now that you know it allows we can do showings based on appointments. Oh, cool. only. Um, I mean, we can't do open houses yet, but yeah. and you you gotta you gotta as an agent, I believe you have to stay on top of it. You can't. You know, you can't look at the pandemic and say, oh, my gosh, my business is shot. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? I uh, I mean, when this whole started, the, this whole thing started, I mean, the first three weeks of my, of, you know, of my life, of my career in my business, um, you know, I took that time to really allow myself to um, really see what I needed to get first in order yeah. in order to then move forward. So yeah. for me, like I didn't really spend too much time at home okay. because, you know, when, you know, prior to the pandemic, I was constantly out, you know, oh, exactly. uh, doing open houses on the weekends exactly. and, you know, doing a bunch of other stuff, marketing events and stuff like that. So when I was home and stuck at home, you know, um, I started to evaluate and see like, wait a minute, like, you know, I got to take care of, you know, make sure I've always taken care of my family, yeah. but at the same time, it's, you know what, what else can I do? to make our situation here at home a little bit better than yes, even during this, this time. So like my son, obviously he went to um, zoom school, okay. right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like every other kid. Like every um, other kid. Yeah. And, and then I noticed he was struggling a little bit the first two, three days. So then I literally took half of his room and I made it look like his classroom. Oh, wow. So, That's awesome. So That's I, really I awesome. And, yeah. So then I, I slowly, I started to see, okay, if this is, of is if this is going well for a five-year-old kid yeah. Yeah. because he's visualizing himself around you know what he's constantly you know around with that's accustomed to yeah absolutely. yeah accustomed to then i got to do the same thing for my business yeah so um i, I you know i was kind of working for my laptop here and there you know throughout okay. the house in the, back, <laughs> in the backyard and, and and i'm like no you know what i gotta really set up bring my office to my you know to my home um, and sure enough, I, I, I kind of did that. I didn't go all out. I just brought my monitors and okay. like the very simple, you know, simple things that I needed because um, everything else is done online. So, um, yeah. that's kind of what I did the first three weeks after okay. that. Um, I just started to first care about my clients. Um, okay. you know, I would watch their feeds okay. on social media and everything wasn't my, I would say the first month. It wasn't so much about, hey, I'm here for your real estate needs. Yeah, my yeah. first month was, hey, I'm here 
for you for whatever it is that you need. That is you know, awesome. If it's that is awesome. food, um, if it's even just talking to somebody, if it's you know just simply being a, so, a, a ear and a shoulder to someone, right? That's awesome. Because we all process this is differently. Um, so I was checking all my media, so my social media threads, and I have a lot of clients that follow me. So I would then s slowly, like you know, pri you know, see something, send them yeah. a private message. Hey, I saw what you post. Like oh, you're not wow. in this alone. Da 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 da. Like I'm here. That like we're awesome. here. Um, and you know, I have a really good relationship with my, all of my clients. Um, yeah. Not just during the transaction, but even after the transaction. Okay. Um, so it's never an odd or weird moment when. Julio's reaching out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. um, like, it, it's like when they see my name on their phone, it's like, oh man, okay, you know, let's, let's, let's hear them out. Um, it's never some, you know, cause again, I, I know my time and place for business. Yeah. Uh, and I think that that's what the biggest thing that has helped me out. And what that did was it allowed as the market started to change. And I mean, we're in a crazy market right now. It's, where It's insane. It's insane. I mean, yeah. we can't even really say like, hey, we're going to sell this house for this price because <laughs> we end up getting multiple offers. Exactly. Over late exactly. price. I mean, we're oh, like, wow. what just happened right now? Um, oh, wow. you know, but the biggest thing to do is, again, it's like, it's constantly just, again, just follow up with clients and, and not be, I love it. You, know, you know, I, I always tell clients because I, I hear this all the time. It's, um, well, call your SOI and call all of your, you know, database. Yeah. I'm sorry. If you have not called your database in the last, <laughs> me, my rule of thumb is in, in the last year, Yeah, it's going to be an awkward conversation. It's going to be, <laughs> that's what you know, I'm like, like, who are you? Like, yeah, yeah, like, be real. Like, exactly. I would, suggest, <laughs> I would suggest start off by mailing them something really nice, <laughs> and then with the follow-up letter, hey, did you get, you know, what I sent you, yeah. and then do the call, because otherwise, yeah. if you do the call, it's going to be very awkward. Um, and I say that because I have a client that they called me okay. and they're like, Hey, uh, we're, we currently have their property in the market. And you know, they were like, Hey, um, by any chance this agent call you? And I'm like, no, why? And oh, he's wow. like, well, this agent sold one of our houses six years ago. And then he what? called us out of the blue. Six just years. Oh, yeah. Just to check in. So we were just kind of weird because... <laughs> We haven't heard from him in six years, and all of a sudden, wow. why you, and they asked, "Why do you think he's calling me?" Yeah, and right away I said, "Well, you know, a lot of coaches and a lot of managers. You know, I myself was, you know, involved in as a VP at Intero. Yeah, um, I'm I that. stepped down though because uh, yeah. of our second child, but I'm still have, you know, I still help out our current VP for South County and Morgan Hills and Gilroy. So, you know, I okay. still have a foot in the door. You can say so. I'm still helping out agents and and." I know a lot of managers are telling this to their client. I mean, to their agents is like, call your SOI, call your SOI, yeah. which is great. But again, when you haven't called somebody in six years, in six years, I mean, come on. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. That person's going to call their actual current real. It's going to be like, <laughs> Absolutely. I just had this weird conversation. Like, is he calling about the house or he, was he just calling me about, you know, because he's trying to get my business again. Yeah. Um, so again, I, I, for me, it's been a, just a mixture of little things. Um, and that's what's been helping me out. I mean, I currently have um, about 12 transactions in escrow. Oh, wow. Um, and, you know, that's both huge. buyers and sellers. Um, awesome. And I have a listing appointment next week as well. Here, you know, coming back from vacation, my meeting vacation. <laughs> that's um, awesome. So, you know, and I have, uh, while I was gone, you know, we were able to sell, you know, three homes as well. So, oh, again, wow. it's it, is a business there. Absolutely. But yeah. It's all on how you create your business. I love it because that's that's I just love everything you just talked about there, Olio. Because that's that that's like it's it has always been what I believe will be at the end. Like the agent that, that will still be standing will be the right. one who literally operate the way you operate. Because I mean, you just said it six years. Of, I mean, six years after you know selling the home, you just contacted. Like, where do you even start the conversation? You just saw like you just show how much your processes are bad. Right. So yeah, like, yeah. and I just love the way you reached out to them and saying, no, I'm not even, you know, reaching out to talk about real estate. Like, how are you doing? I've seen this post, like, how are you doing? Right. Right. And I think that, that that's exactly to me. Um, I don't know if you're, you're going to enter a recession yet. Yeah. Yes or not. But the agents who will still be standing and doing businesses will be the pretty much the people who are doing it the way you are doing it. You know, yeah. on an empathy level, on a human yeah. to human level, not just 
on a transaction and delivering right. marketing tactics and things of that nature, right. but right. really on a human to human basis. So that's, that's, right. that's really huge. And, right. and it shows you have top, top, top property in escrow. You've, you've sold a, uh, a house. You were just coming back from vacation. I mean, it just shows, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's, no, that's no. really awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's really awesome. So I, um, to follow up on that, um, you were talking a little bit about it earlier because people in crisis often just completely, f uh, they, they just completely freeze and, 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 and they just start to panicking and they, they don't want to do anything else. Right. Uh, but I just believe that crisis to me always brings forth like opportunities. Right. Um, so what is the one thing to you, like when you look at, when you look at the market, like what is the one thing that has been overlooked in the past that just COVID like uh, highlighted or validated or confirmed as like an undeniable demand on the market, like something that wasn't really that important in our industry, but now with COVID it's just highlighted. That could be a product, that could be a service, that could be yeah. Uh, what in your mind could that be? Um, to me, I think what's what COVID is highlighting right now is the customer service. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, in in our industry, yeah. Um, it's so frustrating when uh, you're a listing agent and you know you get calls from buyers agents and they're <laughs> asking you how to put the deal together. Oh my god. And it's like, so do you want me to do the deal and just pay your referral fee? Like, yeah, exactly. you know, I'll take the client. Like, you know what exactly. I mean? It's like, um, and these are experienced agents. But again, yeah. I think because the pandemic, what's, what I feel that's been happening, and it's like I said, it's really unveiling the customer service of an agent. I love if it. a customer service, if, if an agent did not um, have a strong foundation on customer service and servicing yeah. their client, yeah. Um, they are being exposed right now because they're, you're, again, I, my frustration has been they're becoming even more and more of order takers and actual, an actual leader in the profession so to lead their client into yeah. what is it that they want. I agree. You know, so when you have an agent like myself that I see that you're lacking in that, it's going to be so easy for me. And I, I'm not one to, go and take people's clients. Yeah, no, but yeah. it's so easy for me to be, uh, to have that reaffirmation into myself That's that I have to make sure that my A game on my customer service is on the top. Absolutely. And what that looks like, it's going to look like for every client differently. I'm, I mean, I'm sometimes on my phone as early as 5.30 in the morning because I have wow. clients that wake up at 5.30 in the morning because they're yeah. on conference calls in the East Coast. Yeah. So I already know, okay, I can call this client or I can text this client this early. Yeah. And then I have currently clients right now that I, I don't, that I literally talk to like as I'm going to bed, like, you know, <laughs> 930, <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, we're wow. talking because yeah. we're already, you know, processing, you know, and getting ready for the next day of what we're going to conquer together. So exactly. I say all that because like I said, I believe that with COVID going on, it's really exposing the agents that have really have a really strong fundamental in customer service. That's so and it's true. really exposing the agent that has always been an order taker, but now it's like, oh yeah, they're an order taker for sure because Absolutely. if they can't process, you know, how to put this deal together and they're asking yeah. another agent how to put it together, then, yeah. you know, again, that gives you an idea of, of what we're kind of facing. And I say it, and I say this because I've been seeing it in, in the market that I'm in right now with different okay. price points it's, yeah. it's affecting all price points it's not just oh, your wow. higher end or it's not your beginner you know your beginning price points it's across the board oh wow that's i love the way you you, you just the term was exactly like exposing this yeah. is what you're actually seeing and you're seeing that some of them we won't name names here but there's they're starting to scramble and oh uh and i need to buy this technology and this technology and Correct. the thing is even though I'm building a technology company, the first thing, the thing that I love the most about our industry is that you can create as many tech products that you want. It's first and foremost a human industry. So if Absolutely. you just fail that, you're just wasting your time. And you will see Absolutely. now a bunch of agency closing and a bunch of agents failing because, as you said, they didn't really have that empathy level. They didn't have that, that human, you to human connection. Because right. everything was technology and my CRM and things of that nature. And I'm building one. So, but I, I just love the fact that 
you use that term exposing because now you can, and as a customer, and for customers too, it's great because they can now make a difference between, you know what, I just, on a human to human level, I'm going to work with this specific agent because he just gets me, right? Yeah. It's no longer just about transaction. I've sold like 20 homes Correct. last year, whatever. It's not, it's no right. longer about transaction, which I think is really great. Um, right. and, and it creates that separation between um, the one who really re- understands the human aspect of it all and the one who just focus on the transaction ones. So yep. that's, that's really awesome. So um, to follow up on that as well, um, I'm, I'm here in Paris and, and, uh, and then um, we have um, um, a good friend of mine who's also um, an agent in New York and I was talking to him uh, last week and he was telling me that uh, pretty much the market is completely going into like a, a, a deceleration in terms of home sales and in Paris as well. You can see like just people here, here actually in Paris, agencies are closing and agents are being followed and things of that nature. So I was curious, you being in such a vibrant market as San Francisco, like what is, what is the state uh, of the market of the day, over there pretty much? Like how, how are things on the, on the, on the housing side? Yeah. So throughout throughout the Bay Area, I mean, we're we're seeing different, ex, you know, we're 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 experiencing different markets throughout the Bay Area. Okay. I myself focus more in the South County, like San Jose, um, South, you know, Morgan Hill, Gilroy, mm-hmm. um, and what I am noticing is that in our market out here, it's it's been exploding um, oh. because people really? are stuck at home. <laughs> so what they're doing is that they're starting to move to the suburbs. They're starting yeah. to move where there's more land. They're starting to oh, move okay. where, you know, they can stretch out their hands and not touch, exactly. you know, their exactly. spouse or their kids exactly. and be like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going to build four <laughs> little walls exactly. around people like that. I can that's, be in an office. That makes sense um, for sure. So that's kind of what we're experiencing. We're also yeah. experiencing that a lot of properties with um, swimming pools are flying off the market. Oh, wow. Um, because again, there you know, as this prolongs, a lot of tech companies already announced. Because I have yeah. a lot of tech uh, uh, clients myself, right. yeah. and they're like, "Oh, we're not going back to the office until next year." <laughs> oh, uh, next year? Yeah. Wow. So a lot yeah. of tech companies already are are saying, "Hey, you know, just keep working from home." And the craziest okay. thing is, their sales in the tech industry and in other, you know, um, have been thriving. You know, okay. um, wow. because. You know, I mean, if I was in that field and, you know, I would, I would see why, because I mean, yeah. obviously we're just moving money around and putting it more into people working at home than um, into offices, um, which is, <laughs> yeah, um, um, exactly. <laughs> so, um, but, it, but like I said, it, it all depends, honestly, like, have we seen a, a reduction in pricing as well? We have, okay. we, we definitely have, um, you know, we've seen it anywhere between, Again, in the, depends on the area in the Bay Area, but yeah. between three percent to about um, some areas are being affected by like seven percent, you know. Oh, wow. And but it's more on the higher end that's getting hit, you know. So okay. anything above two million, I mean, that's kind of you know kind of struggling a little bit. Yeah. Um, what's moving a lot right now in the lower end of the high end is between a million and two. Okay. I mean, that thing's those properties are flying and um, and again and it depends too uh, again on how aggressive a, a listening a seller lists true, their property true, um, true. so you know again you gotta we gotta play by ear but again you all as a, an experienced agent you have to have to have these difficult conversations with your clients even though if they say even though you think they're gonna say like <laughs> well maybe it's not the right time maybe it's not exactly <laughs> you know what I mean well, you got to yeah. at first, you know, they're, they're calling you for a consultation because there's something that is moving them to say, I need to move my property. Yeah. Now it's your job to, to find that. And then it's your job to um, remind them that this transaction is being processed and started because of what their intents are and not what Absolutely. your intents are. You know what I mean? Absolutely. That um, makes sense. So again, we've seen, like I said, we've seen a little mixture of both, but primarily we've seen, um, you know, we have a low inventory here right now. Okay. Um, so we're constantly, incredible. yeah. So we're constantly wow. seeing a lot again, 
it's it, it's hard, man. It's one of those where <laughs> you, I, even myself, I see a property hit the market. I'm like, oh, that man, that's gonna sit. And then like in two days, it's gone. And I'm like, oh, wow, wow, like, how? Yeah, <laughs> how so, is that even possible? Yeah, and wow. and the properties we think are gonna fly, and they don't. They sit. Other you ones. Know, <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, oh man. So again, you wow. just gotta be mindful of it and have these difficult conversations with the clients. Prep them up front. And if yeah. your clients, you know, I had a, like, I'll give you a perfect example of it. Absolutely. Um, I got a client. I met him last year. He's in okay. the tech industry. He got relocated to, um, to a different state. Okay. And he ended up keeping his property here in the Bay Area and he rented it out. Well, his lease with his tenants was coming up. And so he called me. He's like, hey, I yeah. met you last year. And um, thanks for, again, following up. You know, I've been yeah. following, even though I didn't do business That's with awesome. them, I still followed That's up awesome. with them. That's so awesome. he's like, Hey, I, you know, I followed up with you. Uh, you followed up with me and I wanted to follow up with you. Like, okay, I think I'm ready to sell the house. This is okay. what I'm, I need the minimum I need. And I said, okay. Um, and it was nothing too big, but I mean, yeah. he needed, you know, uh, you know, uh, let's just say he needed, um, 835,000. Right. Oh, wow. And I did the comps and, okay. and then I'm seeing properties closing at 800. And they're the same exact that she is. And I'm like, can we justify $35,000 in, you know, in a week or a month? Yeah. Uh, that's going to be difficult to say because again, we're already, we're seeing properties that are going to be closing at the 800 mark. Absolutely. So he has a really good rental. I mean, this okay. guy is making, he's literally making about almost 5% on his rental right now. Oh, wow. And wow. he's like, so what do I do? Do I renew my lease <laughs> or do I take the gamble? Okay. So again, that's where you as an agent have to not look at so much at what you want. And at the end of the yeah. day, a lot of agents just want the commission and the number. So true. So true. Right? So true. Um, you have to put yourself in your client's shoes and, and, and help them make the right decision. So what I ended up doing was I said, listen, I'm not going to lie, man. Like, you have a, such a great return on your property now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you have to make a decision. Either you give them an extended lease and the tenants wanted to stay. So I'm like okay. at the current rent and I'm like, you know, worst case scenario, let's say this goes south, the market, you know, as a whole the economy, I'm like, and you got to renegotiate. I mean, yeah, you still yeah, have yeah. a good buffer, you know what yeah. I mean? For them to, you know, negotiate with your tenants and that way you're not in the hole. Um, so we went over that and then, wow. And I said, you know what? I think the best thing to do, man, I mean, if I was in your shoes, again, if I know that 735 is, I mean, 835 is the number I need and yeah. not go be negative and come out of pocket now to sell this house, yeah. I'm like, you know, that's a decision you're going to have to make, man. But I, 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 I will just hold off. I'm like, However, yeah. how about if you give me the listing as an exclusive listing yeah. with the tenant involved? I'm That's like, awesome. and there's a lot of people right now moving their money from thirty <laughs> ones. Yeah. I'm like, so um, I can still market the property. I'll still throw it out there. I'll send out emails. I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll, you know, I'll work on my marketing plan I have. Yeah. And if we get somebody that is willing to take on your tenants for the remaining year and give you what we're wanting and needing, um, are you cool with that? And he's like, Oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. So, wow. so he's like, you know what? Well, what do we need to do to, you know, kind of get the ball going? So I said, you know what? The first thing people are going to ask is about inspection. So let's just do yeah. inspection. Let's do your yeah. termite, your home inspection, roof inspection. Let's get out that out the way. I'm like, you're yeah. going to invest a little bit, but yeah. you know, but again, at the end of the day, you're going to be serious. If yeah. I bring you an investor that absolutely. says, Hey, I want the property. Absolutely. And, he was like, you know what? I love that because it's still giving me an opportunity to hopefully get what I need. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm not also losing out now completely on what I, I have. It. And it's, yeah, a, it's a good return. So that again, awesome. that's where you as an agent have to think of all of the possibilities and present everything to them. So yeah. then that way, again, you're not just being an order taker saying, okay, all right, well, we can't do it right now. Okay, <laughs> I'll call you next year. You like, yeah. no, like, Give them the opportunity and, 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 and show them the opportunities and the options they have. And then so when they make that decision, they walk away again with like, 
man, I am so glad I have this guy as my agent or this gal as my agent because That's awesome. they weren't holding back without giving me the good and the bad and the ugly. They were yeah. like, hey, this is what it is. How, how, how can I help you? You know, and yeah. we're in this together, you know, and yeah. And yeah, and he was very appreciative. And the craziest thing is, again, because we can't really put our, our, our finger on the market, yeah. is be, how I'm, ever, I'm advertising it, all that. I've already generated two showings for him. Oh, wow. With the terms that we need. That's incredible. So, you know, for him, he's like, that's, oh my God, awesome. this worked out. This, like, this absolutely. Is awesome, this, right? this is worth it for me. Like, yeah, um, you know, and, it, and it's a it's a win for him. It's a win for yeah. his tenant because they can stay yeah. there for the remainder term of the of the lease. But and then again, it's a win for the buyer that's buying it. But again, and, and if it doesn't happen, at least he, again he saw yeah. like man, at least Julio still brought two people in exactly. You know, exactly. and he's working even though I'm not really paying him right now. So yeah, exactly because uh, I don't get paid as we know. <laughs> yeah, so, right? so, yeah, absolutely. Um, but again, those are the things that that I thrive for because yeah. again, the guy still has ties to the Silicon Valley. He still has friends here. He exactly. Has, you know, coworkers here. Exactly. So when the if conversation he's... comes up and says, man, I don't know what to do with my house. Oh, here, let me call. Let yes. me tell you who to call. That's and brilliant. That's how you're constantly getting in business. That's um, brilliant. So on this, Alan, this is something I've worked so hard for and yeah. on. And this is something I'm constantly working on till this day. Right now, my business this last year, I remember a seasoned agent that's also been a mentor of mine. She had told me, Julia, the way you're going when I first started, she's like, by year five, year six, year 10, you're always going to see your return business grow even that much more because I'm seeing wow. something you're doing that I didn't do at an early, at an early stage. Okay. And that's there for my, all of my clients, not the ones that I'm just closing. Yeah. And um, this year my business has been 90, almost 99% repeat business or referred wow. business. Wow. That's, in, that's, that's just, you, you can't make that up. You just, you, can. you just can't, you just can't make that number up. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah. And, and the reason wow. why it's so high and, you know, I always get asked like, well, what kind of system do you use? I'm like, it's <laughs> called the Julio Roscoe system. That's what it's called. You know what I mean? It, it's, that's, it's simply caring for your, your clients from the beginning till the end and then moving yeah. forward. You know, that's it's awesome. not from the beginning and the end, and that's it. Man. It's moving. It's the beginning, the end, and moving forward. Meaning, the moving forward part is how your referrals come in. The yeah. moving forward part is how you're going to constantly be out in front of people. And yes, even when you make mistakes, because we all make mistakes, right? Absolutely, um, absolutely. Man up to them, you know, and 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 uh, own up to them, I should say, yeah. and, and say, you know what, I, I did that mistake, but however, this is I already found a solution for that. Exactly, you know? exactly. That's um, the, that's that's again, key. People will appreciate that over, you know, over just walking away and saying, oh, well, forget it. This relationship yeah. is done. No, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't my fault anyway. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't have the right cards in hand. You just find another another excuse instead of owning it. Exactly, oh. and again, having a <laughs> difficult conversation so that way, yeah. moving forward, yeah. that's how you constantly are getting uh, these referrals. But at the same Absolutely. time, that's how you're getting a lot of repeat business. Um, a lot of I my stuff it. this year has been repeat business and referrals. Um, and again, that's something I constantly am working hard on. Like I said, Absolutely. I, I, I have a system where you know, marketing wise, I, I yeah. touch all my clients minimal of, of thirty eight times a year. Oh wow. Um, 38 it, times. Yeah. And it's in wow, different one, ways. That's awesome. Um, and, but again, at the end of the day, it's like I said, it's when I call them or when I see their names, I'm not freaking out. I'm like, Oh my gosh, why are they calling you? <laughs> What's like, going yeah, on? Exactly. You know, it, it always, it always starts where, where we left off. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome because you have been, you, you've been having like a pretty much an ongoing conversation, right? You haven't been silenced for the next the last six years. And then you just try to, rekindle some kind of relationship Correct. so that definitely makes sense i love Correct. it because exactly. uh, you you can you can see through the, the the thread everything you've been talking about like you really do what you're doing out of passion like it's yeah. that's 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 the only the, the only thing that i'm getting from our conversation like it's just a little just pretty much uh you know as an entrepreneur i've always talked about this because in today's age because as you as, as you know this is especially being in the valley, um, being an entrepreneur is just so fashionable. Like everybody wants to do, be an entrepreneur. Everybody wants to build a company. Everybody wants to be 
you know, the Zuckerbergs of the world or whatever, yeah. what have you. But the fortitude that actually requires to do that, nobody wants to put in that work. And yeah. everything you just shared there, every, the only thing that I'm hearing, it's work. And you said it pretty much yourself. Like, I don't, I don't even get paid for it just yet, right? Yeah. But today it's just about, okay, I'm, I'm going to build this company. I'm going to build this agency. But first, like, give me the advance to do it. Give me the money to do it. And then I'm going to be able to go out and do it. And right. I love it because you just, you just, to me, it feels like you are doing it out of passion and like building it for the right reason. And that's why you have such a, that number, you cannot make that number. Like, right. I would, I would, I would love to have that number when I talk to my customers, to my, to my investors, will you go ahead on my next um, an investor meeting and say, oh, by the way, we have a 99% retention. They will say, you're yeah. lying. Nobody yeah. can have that. <laughs> nobody can yeah. have that yeah. such a high number. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's just that's just a testament to your work. So that's that's really awesome, and yeah. and and you saying that pretty much touched on as well on the question that I wanted to ask you, which is, I know that right now, and I know this is the case here in France. Like um, agents uh, are being uh, they're getting their license pretty much, and I just think like as a timing, mm -hmm. uh, well, this can be this can be. Um, a more interesting timing for them to actually become. So, like, what would be, what what would you say to yourself if you actually started your business right now in the midst of this uh, unique pandemic? Like, what 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 type of advice is or, uh, yeah. or, or yeah, or yeah, or counsel you would give yourself if you started now? Um, when I first came into the the real estate side of this, um. Yeah. I start. I came in it when we were doing short sales, and oh, you know. Okay, so you know yeah. This so <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's kind of like a pandemic. You know, yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. prior to that, I was I was actually in the lending industry. So okay. you know, I already I was already in the industry, yeah. but not in the real estate side of it. I was in the residential side of it, um, okay. um, residential okay. lending, okay. and you know. I think the first thing that, uh, that, you know, I, I learned and, you know, and I saw from top producers that I was surrounding myself yeah. with, yeah. um, and uh, that I had the privilege to be around with, um, yeah. was what is it that it's unique about you? Absolutely. That's great. That's great. So if I would tell myself right now, coming into the business is first, before you even think about a client, before you even think about your marketing plan. <laughs> before you think about your business plan is first identify what's unique about you. Yeah. Um, when I first came in and I realized like what's unique about Julio, I realized that not that many realtors really knew the mortgage industry on how it oh. operates. Wow. Um, and I had the privilege at a young age to be in it, not only in the broker side of it, but also on the wholesale side of it. And okay. I had the privilege to work for one of the biggest banks. Um, they're no longer here, but yeah. you know, uh, World Savings. And I was a, actually okay. had the privilege to be a manager there. I was one of the awesome. youngest managers they had in corporate. Um, but one of the things that I loved about them is that when I was there, they taught me the ins and outs of the industry on okay. Uh, in the mortgage things that even a lot of mortgage bankers don't even experience or have that experience wow. Wow. So Incredible. when I transitioned into real estate, I allowed myself to see okay What is unique about me? Yeah. And, I, and I started to pay attention that again not that many agents knew the mortgage industry yeah. So then I said bingo. That's my uniqueness. That's awesome that's And awesome. when I started to then do open houses because nobody wanted to do open <laughs> houses because they're short sales that's you know, cool. and you know, and here's a you know, here's a young agent <laughs> who just got you know transitioned into real estate, has no yeah. client, um, but he's over there out doing open houses on short sales. Why is that? Well, why is that? And I said, well, because at the end of it, these people that are going to come and buy this property mm -hmm. are going to need to be led um, in a different way because a short sale is like negotiating a loan. That is brilliant. So is brilliant. in order for me to make your offer stand out, I have to build a story so that yeah. when I give it over to the seller, they're, they're, they're not going to care. The one that's <laughs> going to care is going to be the bank because they're going to make the final approval. Absolutely. But if I'm giving a story to the bank, I'm like, because that's how I used to do it with loans. I would tell yeah. people when I refinance, refinance them or, or do purchase money, it's like, 
okay, this is a rate, but it's not just driven by the rate. Let's create the story. So by the time yeah. it goes to my underwriter, my underwriter is going to look at everything and every question she may have. Well, what about this? Oh, well, you already put it on. Well, what about <laughs> That's this? Awesome. Oh, well, you already put it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so absolutely. I transition that into the real estate side of it. That is awesome. That so is awesome. I say this to people that are coming into the business now is yeah. first find what's unique about you. doesn't matter. And the best way to find that out is what field are you coming out of that you're going into? So if you're coming out of a field that you're, you're involved, let's say with technology, you know, let's say it's a, it's a tech company. Yeah. Um, well, you guys are driven by systems and exactly. you're disciplined by systems a lot exactly. more than a, like, I would say more than 60% of realtors. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So that's already an advantage you have. Yeah. Um, so, but don't let the systems override now the relational part that you need in order I to be it. successful. Because sometimes agents come in and say, well, I got the systems out, but they have like no personality. Like, <laughs> exactly. And like, it doesn't no, work. It doesn't work. You're going to have to work on your personality to in order for the systems to be effective, right? Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So again, I always say, let's look at first um, – what area you're coming out of yeah and then let's look at what gave you the success in that area and then let's take that uniqueness and then now mold it into your real estate career i love it i love it those are really 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 good advices and um and and it's it's funny because we touched you touched you touched on it um a little bit early on you were talking about customer service like the importance for you that pretty much this covid19 highlighted um, as we're going through this pandemic. So uh, that will be the follow-up, my follow-up question. So do you think that this pandemic particularly just forced us as an industry to reimagine or even not, maybe not reimagine, but just like, just redefine like how work gets done and how we work on an agent standpoint, I mean. Yeah. But you touched on it a little bit early on. So, and if so, how? How, you, how do you think that this actually forced us to redefine ourselves? Well, again, I think it's, it's forcing us to, as an agent, to yeah. really take your time to analyze yourself each and every Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Um, that's something I'm constantly working on every single day of myself. Again, when I take my meds, I'm thinking about <laughs> yeah. that. that you know, I'm thinking about that. Either yeah. whether it's during my meditation yeah. or whether it's during my, my, my eating. Like I said, yeah. it's like uh, it, you got to – you know, one thing I've learned in, in, in my career is that I have to allow myself to envision my business in all that I see. Yeah. If that makes sense. I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, like, for instance, Absolutely. like, um, on my way back for, I'll give you guys an example. Like, on my way back from vacation, we were driving back, you know, I mean, and it's literally just a two-hour drive, but, <laughs> you know, uh, you know. I asked my wife, I said, yeah. what is one thing, and again, I say these things, because these, these are things that have in my household, so it might look yeah. a little different than a lot of households, <laughs> but um, I told my wife, I'm like, what is one thing that you feel that you learned out of this trip? Oh, wow. And she was just like, you know, I think for me, it was more of the gratitude and the gratefulness of what Love we had. Love that. Love that. That's the magic word there, gratitude. You know, yeah. um, and then she goes, well, what about you? And I said, well, for me, I'm like, again, as I'm looking at this yeah. beautiful town and these beautiful beach houses yeah. and, you know, we've been going to this area for the last 10 years because we have friends okay. that own a house there. So um, that's how we've been, been, you know, been blessed to be able to enjoy these things through our friends. That's awesome. um, and, um, you know, for me, it was like the simplicity. Oh. Is what allows us to succeed. That's another great word. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so again, I share these things because I'm constantly do that. I'm constantly doing yeah. that on a daily basis. Like that yesterday, awesome. that was kind of my, my, my word. Yeah. Julio, how can I be a better agent? Well, let me Absolutely. simplify things that are going to make me more successful. That is going to allow my, my, my success bleed yeah. into the success for my clients. That is great. You know, that is really, really um, great. And again, and then today, you know, again, it's, it's you know, I mean, I, 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 tend, I tend to, like I said, look at real estate at, at everything I, that I do. And yeah. then I let it speak to me. So then that way I can then process it and be like, that okay, awesome. how can I take this and then translate it? I let, there's a lot of times where 
you know, like we shared earlier, you know, yeah. uh, about my faith is, yeah. you know, obviously I work, I, I read the Bible and yeah. uh, there's a lot of times where I'm reading yeah. and I'm meditating on that word and I'm like, wow, this is great. And then next thing you know, it's like, oh my gosh, like I can easily transition this into my exactly. business. Exactly. Exactly. And then I'm like, okay, cool. And then that's where, and then I start working in that area of my business exactly. that I know is improvement. But now so I'm able to tra transition it from one side to another. Yeah. So again, it's when when I look at um, these things, again, it's don't don't hold back and be like, "Well, I got it down." Like, no, it's like yeah. I've learned from so many people that have been in this industry for you know twenty, thirty plus years that are still this day top agents, successful, wow. great friends of mine, great mentors awesome. of mine, and you know. And they've always, again, they're constantly always showing me that if they're evolving each and every day, like what, why should I not evolve myself? Exactly. You, you are pretty much never done. If you have that mentality that I'm just never done, right. uh, you're going to continue to evolve. You're going to continue to learn. And right. that's, the, that's, that's, that's definitely key there. In order for you right. to just be successful, whatever you do, whatever you right. do in life, you just have to force yourself to continue to learn consistently right. and uh, that's 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 the key behind it um that is awesome uh so the last question that i wanted to ask you was um like what's what's coming up for you on a, on a personal or business level for the remainder of the year i know that you just come back from vacation so there's yeah. no more vacation at least for now i imagine so like I, I think this is this must be maybe all business from now on up until the end of the year for you so what are, what are some of your the goals, something that you would like to achieve uh, for the yeah. remainder of the year at least? Well, uh, unless Hawaii opens back up, then I'll be going <laughs> back to Hawaii. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel you on that one. That yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, for me, Mo I mean, from this point on, um, it, it, it's, again, it's, for me, it's just continuing to, to press on to, you know, awesome. again, to, what I have right now and yeah. with, you know, with my clients, but at the same time, you know, being, being open to, again, um, allow myself to change things in my business yeah. and not be scared of it. Um, yeah. I know one of the biggest things that I did this year during the pandemic, believe it or not, okay. was that I took my marketing to another level, oh. um, oh. where, you know, I'm spending not a couple hundred dollars. I'm spending a couple <laughs> thousand dollars oh, on wow. my list. Wow. And, and it's something you don't do during a pandemic, you know, uh, <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely you know, but at not. the end of the day, I did that because I said, okay, this is adding value to these properties I have. Yeah. Yeah. However, this is going to add even more value to the business that I'm about to, in, to embark. I love it. I love it because so, Mark Choi, yeah. Go, yeah, no, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah. Mark Choi actually exactly other. Um, the sentiment that you just shared there because I was having him on, on the recovery last week and he said the exact same word because he started climbing in 2009 in the middle of the recession. And I asked him, like, how did the market his property? And he said, but the, the thing is that I just invested money where nobody wanted to invest money, right? Yeah. So I had just, I, I had my properties running on Trulia every, yeah. every single day. I spent a lot of money on it. And at the end of the day, because everybody just backed up and looked at what we were going through back in 2008 as an obstacle. And I right. just saw an opportunity, right? It's just yeah. always on the mind of the behold, like, what are you seeing? It is so key. And it's exactly yeah. what you just shared that you said, yeah. okay, I took my marketing on a, on a whole nother level. Basically, I invested more money where I right. shouldn't be doing it. Right. And, and, right. and that's, why, that's why not only you are winning now, but I definitely believe that you're going to be able to win down the road. That's yeah, absolutely. Key. Absolutely. So that's kind of where I'm heading to, you know, and that's awesome. And, you know, and again, I'm one to, uh, you know, my, I'm one to honestly, it's like always I have agents, especially yeah. younger agents too, that they're like, so how many, you know, what's your GCI goal? What's your, what, how many deals you want to do? You want to do 50 deals? You want to do 40 deals? Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not one to like, that's, that's a goal of mine because okay. I feel and I see and it's repeated itself. Um, you know, I learned from other people's mistakes. Yeah, uh, that's good. And, um, and I've seen it where top producing agents have a phenomenal run. And, um, and then three, four years later, you're like, where are they at? Wow. Wow. 
and it's because they've embarked something so big and they embarked it by themselves that you know sooner than later it catches up exactly and so what i've done is that and that's something that i do and i always tell agents is don't focus so much on how many deals you're going to close yeah focus on the opportunities you're going to have to be able to be a part of people's lives yeah i think that's going to speak more volume than anything i love it um, i love it. I, I i don't wake up thinking like oh my gosh i gotta sell you know i gotta get three more deals today like no i wake up first being grateful that i woke up you know Absolutely. um Absolutely. having an opportunity to spend with my kids and my wife and and being able to to do something new that julio did not do yesterday you know yeah, exactly uh, and uh, and then again, and then go off of, off of how can I be better and, mm. and what family can I be a part of this, this, you know, you know, if it's this, this day or this week or this month, you know, that's, awesome. um, that's how I look at it. It's like, how many, how many families can I be a part of this month? If I can I be a part it. of four new families, I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or if I could be a yeah. part of five more families, I'm good. Because again, it's, it's not just the beginning, the close, but it's the after, exactly. right? Exactly. Um, that's moving the forward. Thing. That's um, the thing. So not, again, it, so I look at it, it's like, do I want the, the beginning and the end mentality yeah. and yeah. want to be known as that agent or do I want the beginning, the end and moving forward agent? I'm I like, it. I'd rather do the forward agent because, again, a prime example, I, I see it with those agents that do that, have <laughs> that stuff, done that for the last 15, 20, 30 years. Yeah. Um, they're not focusing on their numbers. They're, you know, they're, again, they're constantly doing the business and at the end of the year, they're still walking away with 40, 50 deals. Wow. That's you know, crazy. And, and, in, and if they're making over a million in GCI, I'm pretty sure they're doing pretty good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> so, again, and I, and I know every market's different. You know, yeah. like, um, you know, I get a lot of calls from different companies, different tech companies yeah. as well that are trying to develop things. And my question I always say when with agent, uh, with companies that are always trying to come out here is, well, what agent are you already, do you already have in the Bay Area that's already that's working? That's a great for? question, yeah. And they're like, well, we still haven't. I'm like, okay, well, and then that's where I kind of educate them on, okay, well, yeah. I think you should approach it this way, not this way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to do it based on how you're approaching me. Like, But then I say the same thing when it comes down to realtors because I've been to conferences and, you know, and, and uh, uh, coaching events and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh. Um because when I was in, when I was a when I was a VP for our company for one of our offices, yeah. um, you know, I had the privilege to do those type of things. And okay. one of the things that I did notice is that yeah, every market is different. And I mean, an agent in in a different state can <laughs> be making a hundred deals and barely making half a million. Where for us wow. here, it's, it's a little different. Wow. We could you yeah, know for, for you. half a million. <laughs> yeah, you know, and literally we're at home. You know, what I mean? for you guys, it's completely different. It's it's yeah, inside of this yeah. world. Yeah. So, so I always go back to, again, when you're, you know, whatever market you're in, absolutely look at it based on how many more families you want to be a part of that you can manage, that you can handle. Um, because at the end of the year, one of the biggest things that I like to do is like for all my, all my buyers yeah. that are in sellers that are still in the area, yeah. I, every year, this is now going to be my fourth year doing this. And again, wow. every year I change it. Wow. But every year on Christmas, I give them uh, a Christmas present, something okay. that's memorable, and something awesome. that's not branded to Julio. That's <laughs> exactly. Big, that's important. That's really important yeah. that you say that. You know, I mean, trust me. Like, I I, I have T-shirts and hats and <laughs> custom stuff that you know that I'll buy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you know, and I'll give it to certain clients. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, that there were in that season of my life that I was, when I was doing that, I'm like, Oh, here, yeah. here you go. Um, exactly. I'll give you an example here. Oh, that's awesome. Like, <laughs> so we're in a pandemic and we got to wear a mask, right? Yeah. So this is, this wow. Is I like it. I love right. this one though. It, uh, it is actually branded to, to, to your name. That's cool. Yeah. That is awesome. So love now, it. now I'm not going to give this to everybody. <laughs> like, yeah. like, no, like, you know, I'm going to give it to the people that, you know, when they see me and they're like, oh man, that's a pretty good mind. Oh, don't worry. I got you. I brought you some. And, you know, know, again, I think forward, but where I'm going with this is, like I said, it's, it's, it's that moving forward piece that yeah. whatever market you're in, that is focus so on that. what's going yeah. to be my moving forward piece. That's going to make me stand out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what makes me stand out 
is that for the last four years, uh, uh, actually the last three years, this could be my fourth year, but in Christmas, during Christmas time, I give my clients that are still around my surroundings uh, a Christmas present wow. that will contain a Christmas ornament. That is awesome. Now, this Christmas ornament, it's not something that you're going to, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do spend a little money on that. So, um, But like this past year, last Christmas, it was a little pickup truck with a Christmas yeah. tree and it said 2019. That's nice. That's really and nice. And so That's... like and the year prior to that was a little tin house um, that had a little heart on top. And, wow. you know, and I, and again, I shop it around like those tin houses. I got them at Macy's in San Francisco. Yeah. Um, they have a phenomenal Christmas, you know, section there. Um, awesome. And then the trucks this year, like I got them at Hobby Lobbies. Now, again, they're not, <laughs> gonna, they're not going to be cheap, but, yeah. but when you have clients that like I've this past Christmas text me like, oh my gosh, we got your presents, you know, that's and it's incredible. other things. That's, that's incredible. Kind of, I like, like that's that's just incredible it, it, it's, yeah. it's it's such an incredible reward like you touch on so many things and the first thing that i would just want to go back to quickly you talked about this pressure of oh i need to sell two or three more houses like you don't you're not even working like out of passion just working out, out of i need to do something i need right. to do it in order to get to this level you don't even know why it's just a mechanism right. that you've installed um for yourself and i love what you said about being part of the family. This is the first time that I'm hearing it from any agent. And I've talked to many, as you can imagine. I've never heard someone say, I just want to be part of three or four families. You really see yourself right. when you work with them as a member of the family. So whatever outcome that comes out of it, you really want to make sure that they're okay. And, and I just, right. you never hear the, you never hear agent talk, talking, talking yeah. the way you're talking. So that's, that's yeah. really awesome. And then you yeah. touch on Bond um people are actually just making the same mistakes and uh it, it's just um for, for people who are listening to us there's this saying that i really love that goes yeah. hope i'm not butchering it um a wise man a wise man learn from un, learn from other people's mistake a fool yeah. learn from his own yeah. right and you said that you're actually learning from other people's mistake that's that's yeah. that's literally for me the definition of wisdom like you cannot just continue to do the same thing and not seeing what's not working. I yeah. but I really, really wanted to just touch back on that because the, asp the, the, the family aspect you just shared, I've never heard someone share the way you yeah. shared it. So that, that's yeah. really powerful to me. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then hopefully, you know, uh, agents that are watching this, like I said, look, that's what this, what's constantly giving me the success. Um, awesome. And, and I, awesome. I, you know, hopefully you can do the same and, and take that. And like I said, is is just be unique and Absolutely. take your attributes you have your strengths you have and and be different but at the same time be sincere about it and Absolutely. yeah and be a part of it because when people see that i've cried with clients i've uh, <laughs> That's great. man That's i've amazing. laughed with clients <laughs> cried with clients prayed with clients i mean it's, wow. it's been a whirlwind man um, that is so incredible yeah but, because you're actually yeah, part of their family this, this yeah, is what's, the end of this is what's unbelievable yeah, correct. Is at the end of it yeah. because that's you're absolutely right, Alan. Is is, yeah. is 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 I do like if you ask me any questions about any clients of mine on the personal level, I bam, you have it. Like wow, that there's is, no if buts or what. Like you know, that's huge. Um, and they, they'll say the same. They'll say the same thing about you. The funny thing is this, yeah. and I'll and I'll and I'll, <laughs> I'll end with this is yeah, my clients never meet my wife okay. right away. Interesting fact though is. They know everything about my wife by the time they meet my wife. And wow. Vice versa. That's incredible. And vice versa. That's incredible. Yeah, because you guys, you get yeah, to talk. Knows, and yeah, so my wife knows everything about all of the <laughs> clients. They're the bad and the ugly. And that so when awesome. they actually do me, my wife is already a part of that family. Yeah, that is so, so huge. So then that way, again, they are not seeing just feel like, it's I've learned to do it this way. It's yeah. learn. I want to turn off and turn off the switch of an agent, right? So <laughs> yeah. it's like when we're like Fourth of July, you know, we couldn't really do much, right? I mean, Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. You know, but <laughs> what, what we, you know, I had my family over for Fourth of July. Okay. And I invited a a, cli uh, a client, which they're also friends of mine. I met them twelve years ago, and I've been doing all oh, of their wow. family transactions. Wow. And right now, we currently have four transactions just with that one family. Okay. And, 
And, uh, you know, and they're a lot older than I am. I mean, I'm, I'm talking yeah. about they're in their 60s. You know, I, wow. I, I, think, I don't even know. That's I've never crazy. had them. That's crazy. I think they're probably like in their early, late 50s, early 60s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, what happened was I invited them over. I'm like, hey, guys, why don't you come over? And, and again, like, the whole time we were here, we never talked about business. Wow. Even though we have four deals right now in the market. Exactly, and exactly. Them, we never talked about their business. We enjoyed, laughed. I mean, we were just, you know, having a great time. And, and at the that end of the day, they laughed super late, which was awesome. <laughs> and, and, uh, and the next day, they texted me. And they're like, hey, thank you so much again for just uh, opening up your home again to us. And it's wow. great that we can have these times outside of work. Of work. That is, man. You know what I mean? I mean so yeah. I say that because, again, when, a, when, when agents can do that, that's what allows you to continue to grow. That's what allows you to, again, know, okay, I got to turn on my switch as an agent. I got to be that negotiator. I got to go, exactly. go be that go-getter right now for exactly. that. I'm not a friend right now. I'm, this is business, you know? Wow. Um, and when they see that side of you, and then they see the compassionate side of you, and then they yeah. see the friend that's side the of you. That's the key word then, yeah. You know, all of these sides of you, then they're like, wow, like, hold on, like, yeah, you know, like, they never question my commissions because to Absolutely. them, it's like, man, the, Julio is a well-rounded guy for us. That Exactly. Yeah, he deserves it all. Like He's all the, really helping. Like, he, he, he really like, put in the work, right? So, right. And, um, and, you know, and, and again, when, and when, and when you have to make those decisions, unfortunately, sometimes when there is a need and you have to, yeah. you know, make yeah. a decision to help in and contribute a little bit, yeah. like, yeah. they appreciate that even that much more. But at the end of the day, too, it's like, that's how you get more business and that's how absolutely and you continue to grow the business and uh, for me i'm not in this in the for the short run i'm in this for the long run and that's exactly and I know I have why a lot of people that always tell me like dude you could be making so much more money and i'm like yeah and yeah I could be that's true but no later on in life you know exactly. So, exactly um so for me it's like i said it's it's look at the you know moving you know the the moving forward part as well that's the key thing um, absolutely i believe and I'm, I'm sticking to because again, it's like when clients see that, that's when the business comes. And, and that's, like I said, something that I didn't really pay attention to until um, earlier this year, I was asked yeah. on another, another uh, broadcast through Zoom okay. um, by an, another tech company. Okay. Um, they asked me the same question. They said, you know, uh, what's your return of business or what mm -hmm. has it been? And I'm like, you know what? I actually went through my <laughs> numbers this year, and the craziest thing is, I'm at almost ninety nine percent return of nice. business this year. And it's and again, it's not every year. Yeah. You yeah. know, last year, last. However, I am gonna say though, <laughs> for the last five years, to clarify it, I do gotta say, and this is something I'm very, very proud of because again, it takes a lot of work to do this. Absolutely. But I learned it from Absolutely. people's mistakes and I applied in my career is That's in huge. the last five years, I could confidently say without a doubt that if I go back to my books, the last five yeah. years, without a doubt, um, I am in the probably top 90% of, of, of repeat wow. business. Wow. Still, it still, yeah. it's still completely huge. Like yeah. you did 99, but still 90. I mean, yeah. just... It's still, Without a doubt, it's because again, like I, I can go back, like if I look at all my files, I can tell you, oh yeah, that's where this family's at. This is why they sold. This is where they're that's at. Awesome. This is their kids. This is that. This is this. Again, but again, I'm embedded in into being part of the family, and and that's I think the biggest things I tell younger agents is do that. Even seasoned agents that are struggling right now that they don't understand why. Yeah, and I, you know, I tell them like, well, when was the last time you just went and got a cup of coffee oh, with your wow. client? Wow. Like not about work, just be just like, yeah. You know, How are you doing? Interacting. Like, what, what's going on? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. and that's where they're like, "Well, I haven't done." That. Yeah, well, you need to go do that because <laughs> exactly. you don't want them to come and meet Julio. Because exactly, Julio, that's over. Uh, that's they'll over. Stay if with they, Julio. Like if they if you know, they do that, that's so over. Like, yeah, like <laughs> I, I want you to be a part of this too. Like you know, what I mean, I want you to be a part of it. Yeah. And I say that because again, that's that's just the confidence that I have. I love it. Absolutely. Now, yeah, you have. Absolutely. That's the confidence I have for my clients. Like, I love I'm, it. I'm in it with it. Again, even if I walk away with nothing now, 
it's a seed that was planted and it's a, it's a harvest that I'm going to get later. So I just absolutely, I completely agree with you. You're just looking at the long haul of it all uh, to, to, to end up on this, what you're doing, like, and, and I've, I've been hearing it, uh, especially here in Europe and a little bit in the U.S. as well, because I think that's where the frustration has um, started with uh, real estate agents, because you can see from customers that they just feel like they, they don't care anymore. It's just all about the commission. And that, that's it's pretty much some kind of a lost art for you. I don't know how, if you if you love basketball or not, but I'm, yeah. I'm a yeah, huge yeah. fan of it. So okay. to me, what you're describing, this whole conversation, if I can sum, if I can summarize it, I will say that you are, you know, you are this lost art of um, in basketball midway jumpers. Nobody's yeah. doing it anymore. Everybody's yeah. just shooting it's from everywhere, right? But that's yeah. that's that's the essence of basketball, right? And I just feel like doing it the way you were doing it, um, as you said, you just pretty much said it. I think on 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 the long haul, people like yourself will be the ones still standing, and we are, we are already seeing it. And I know that for a fact. That's that has been my whole thesis uh, about what we're doing um, at Front Door. So I definitely agree with you. Um, uh, well, that that's that was that was just so huge. Thanks for all the course, incredible no, advice you, and yeah. insights you've shared with us. Uh, so thank you, Julio. Recovery episode two, quarantine edition with Julio. It's a wrap. Uh, you can catch this episode on YouTube and on all platform streaming podcasts. And remember, just as you shared a little bit in this recovery, please don't see the things the way you used to see them. Shine a new light, get a fresh perspective, and we are all we are all here rooting for your success. Thanks again for your time, Julio. I really appreciated it. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. <laughs>